Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my second fall Bath & Body Works haul. I will have more of these to come, probably one or two more fall Bath & Body Works hauls. And that is because, well there's two reasons. First off, Bath & Body Works in the fall is amazing. They have the most phenomenal smelling candles, bulbs, body lotions, etc. Fall is my favorite season. I mean, I like the holidays, but I think in my opinion, fall definitely takes the prize. Um, and also, I like to buy things when they go on sale. I mean, I'm already spending like hundreds of dollars at Bath & Body Works at this point, so I would like to uh, save some money, so I like to buy things when they go on sale. So for today, I have a big bag full of candles to share with you. They were on sale. I have hand soaps as well, but anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys like to see what fall goodies I picked up at Bath & Body Works, then just keep watching. First off, I just wanted to mention, uh, I just noticed like a minute or two ago that I have like foundation or concealer in my hair right there. So um, if I like go like that, you can't see it. So if you like see something in my hair, it's definitely makeup. Oops, I guess it happens to the best of us. And then next, I just wanted to quickly talk about coupons because in my last video, I had a few questions about the coupons, which by the way, Bath & Body Works, you definitely need to send more out. I know they will be sending more out. By the time this video is up, there may be new ones already coming in the mail, but I had used my coupons in the previous video. So for these purchases, unfortunately, um, I did not use any coupons. It gave me a little bit of anxiety again because the fall, I'm spending like hundreds of dollars. But besides the point they will be coming but a lot of you were like how do I get the coupons to come in the mail I've signed up with the people or the people uh, the cashiers I have signed up with them they're still not coming in the mail so what I would say is that if you've given your address to the people at Bath and Body Works and it's been a few months you're still not noticing the coupons coming in the mail I would call Bath & Body Works customer service. I mean, you could probably do the chat, but I would call them. This happened to me a few years ago when we moved into this house. I thought they had my information. It was updated. I still wasn't getting the coupons. I called. She kind of like re-put it into their system. It took like two more months and then the coupons started coming. So if that's the case with you, I would definitely just call them. They can manually put it in. I mean, you can do it through chat, but I would just recommend calling because you're actually talking to somebody um, you know through the phone they can do it for you and you should be good so I just wanted to mention that I believe it was a few weeks ago Friday night I was checking my email and sometimes what Bath & Body Works does if they're going to have like a big promotion going the night before they kind of give you like an email letting you know what's coming on Saturday and lately I've been like checking Bath & Body Works website like every day I know that sounds terrible so I see the email $2.95 I believe that's what I paid $2.95 or $3 hand soaps I'm like, let me get my butt into Bath & Body Works. So I picked up, I want to say about six hand soaps for 18 bucks, like, you know, plus tax. You can't beat that. And plus two, any leftovers I have, I will give them as gifts for birthdays, holidays, etc. I always like to have a little bit of extra, especially for like hand soaps and lotions because they are great gifts for people. So let's get in. Oh, before I get into that. I did actually have a coupon that I used with this purchase, but it was the free gift, or I think it was a free gift under $7.50 or under, so this is what I went with, the Sweater Weather Fragrance Mist. This smells amazing, and I do want to mention something because one of you actually mentioned this in my last video, and it makes sense. I never, um, you know, when I would smell Sweater Weather, the candle, I never really gravitated toward it. It wasn't, you know, something that I really, that really stuck out to me. And I know a lot of you like Sweater Weather, the candle. And then when I was at Bath & Body Works, they were spraying, um, they were spraying Sweater Weather like three weeks ago. She sprayed this, their new fragrance mist, on the ribbon and it smelled so good. So I'm like, let me get this. And then I ended up, and I will get into this next, I ended up picking up the Sweater Weather Candle. They smell nothing alike. And one of you actually pointed that out to me because I'm like, I'm like, this kind of doesn't really smell like the fragrance mist. And I asked the girl, I go, when I burn Sweater Weather, will it smell like this? And she's like, yeah, but sometimes they just say whatever. They don't even know what they're talking about. I know, no offense to any of you that work there. Um, but one of you guys said that, no, they're not the same. So I'm probably going to be returning that candle. I figured I would mention it again with the Sweater Weather because it was deceiving. And this is before I actually knew that. I ended up picking two 
are picking up two sweater weather hand soaps and I'm pretty sure let me just smell it quickly this smells more like the candle so what I might do is just keep these and give them um, as gifts to people again there were three dollars so it's always good to have some extras um, I'm not too crazy about the scent, but if you were wondering, I can read the notes for you guys. Uh, the notes are sage, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. And then next I picked up Black Cherry Merlot. My aunt's birthday is this month, and I know she loves this one. Um, the notes for this are dark cherry, black raspberry, and Merlot. This is a very nice one. And then next I picked up Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Now, for the hand soap, I do like this, but the candle... Um, and this is another example of what I was just talking about. So I love Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Body Lotion. I have one left over that I'm currently using from last year. I do plan on picking up more. That body lotion, excuse me, smells amazing. I put it on. I'm ready for fall. I'm ready to go. Uh, the candle definitely does not smell like that. So that's just another example of like the body care versus the candle or the bulb or whatever. Uh, same with this. Um, for the hand soap, I like this. The candle, not so much. But anyways, I got a sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And the notes for this are harvest pumpkin, spiced clove, and sugar cane. And then next... This one I get every single year. I absolutely love this. I'm going to put this um, right by my sink. I just want to wait till I filmed this video. This is afternoon apple picking. They've had this like the last like few years I want to say. One year they didn't have it. I was looking for it and I'm glad they brought it back the last few years. This literally smells like your apple picking in the afternoon or even the morning for that matter. Um, the notes are crisp apple, succulent pear, and cinnamon. This one smells so nice. Your hands will smell amazing. I love this one. And then the last hand soap I went with, and that's the thing, I feel like for hand soaps, especially um, you know, ones that I would like. It was a little limited. Granted, I was buying these in August, and I know they tend to roll out more throughout the season. A few years back, they had pumpkin pecan waffles as a hand soap, and I know last year they didn't do it. Maybe this year they will. I'm not really sure. Again, they probably will come out with more, but I start early. They were on sale, so whatever. So um, the sixth one that I went with is pumpkin apple. This one smelled pretty nice, and the notes for this are red delicious apples, fall pumpkin and clove buds. So let's move on to candles. I have a big bag. I have one, two, three, four, five. And in my last video, I already had purchased, I think three, two or three, I believe. It's funny because a couple of you Instagram or Instagram messaged me and told me that the candles were $11.95 or they were going to be $11.95. And I was like, thank you. I saw the emails. I was on the hunt, like checking those emails, stalking my emails. Um, I saw it Friday night, but a couple of you guys had also let me know. So thank you. I do appreciate that. So I got my butt into my local Bath and Body Works. But again, I just feel like it's such slim pickings in stores, especially. And I went there like right when they opened up. So generally speaking, most of the candles I was looking for, they had but online has so much more of a selection. So um, the ones I was initially looking for, uh, they did not have it, had sold out. It was Apple Weather. Apparently, Apple Weather is a very popular candle this year. Um, and then when I went online to purchase it online when they were doing the $11.95 candles, it was all sold out. It's currently back in stock, but it's $24.50. So next time they mark the candles down, I will be purchasing that candle. And then there's a couple other on a couple others, excuse me, online before I get into the ones that I purchased that I have my eye on. Blackberries and basil. I don't think they've ever come out with that candle. I have the hand soap. I purchased it around, I want to say the holidays last year. Smells amazing. So I already have two in my cart. Cinnamon Irish Cream, they did not have in my store. It might even be an online only. I definitely want to get that one. And then Pumpkin Cookie Dough, did not see that in store. It sounds nice. So those are some of the ones online I was kind of eyeballing. Apple Weather was in store, but it was sold out. That one, again, comment down below if you actually have tried out Apple Weather. Let me know if you like it. So let's get into the ones that I got. First off, again, sweater weather. I think I'm just, I'm not that crazy about it. I'd rather, you know, go with one that I love, like get another pumpkin pecan waffles, even though I just got another pumpkin pecan waffles. I mean, it's okay. It's just, you know, it's not really my cup of tea. Next, this one, I definitely um, had it online in my cart, but I saw it in stores. I was like, okay, smells amazing. And I believe this is new this year. This is Dutch Apple Waffle. 
It smells really nice. So let me read the notes to you. Uh, warm buttermilk waffles, baked apple slices, ground nutmeg with essential oil. So this one smells really nice. I'm hoping that it spreads well. Um, and then I know I just like keep going off like tangent again. Autumn, that is one of my favorite next to pumpkin pecan waffles scents for the fall. The bulbs of autumn smell amazing. They throw meaning how well they spread throughout a room. The bulbs and the plugs work phenomenal. This is the second or third year in a row and I knew what was gonna happen. I buy the autumn candle, I light it, I can barely smell it. I mean, if I go over it, I smell it and I love the way it smells, but it does not spread. It does not have a great throw to it. I'm very disappointed, it's been like the third year in a row and some of you have told me, you're like, oh my God, I smell it everywhere. Just for me, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I just am not that happy with the performance of the autumn candle. The bulb, on the other hand, is great. So um, yeah, I figured I would mention that. I don't even know why. <laughs> um, I guess it's because I'm just disappointed. Um, and then the salted butterscotch, I think it was from the last video. Wow, that one's amazing. And then pumpkin pecan waffles, you guys already know. So this next one, blueberry maple pancakes. I believe last year was the first year that they introduced this one. And I'm so glad that they brought this back. This one packs a punch with the throw. I will be upstairs. This will be uh, going in my kitchen. I'll be in the opposite end of my house upstairs. I will smell this. Like this does not disappoint and it's different. You don't really think like um, blueberries for fall, but it just smells so nice. Um, I like to bake while burning this candle. So blueberry maple pancakes, they brought back again. Let me read the notes to you. Wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes, warm maple syrup with essential oil. So again, this one, the throw definitely will not disappoint. It's definitely different, but it smells so good. Um, and then I think I have like one or two more candles in this bag to share with you. So this is another pumpkin pecan waffles, but this is just like the all white version of it. So I already have two. I probably will buy a few more and stock up for the year. Um, and that's the other thing, like I don't want to go through what I went through. This sounds so bad, but many of you can relate. Uh, say they close down all the stores again and then they stop doing like the candle sales online like back in March and April. I was all out, almost all out of candles because I was burning like all leftover candles from all their seasons. I was burning Christmas candles in March and April. So God forbid something else happens again. I'm going to be good to go. I'm trying to take advantage of it now. Um, but anyways, so I'll probably pick up a couple more pumpkin pecan waffles because that's what I will burn all year round. But anyways, this is the best candle of life. I've mentioned this in many videos. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. And many of you had said, that you love this candle as well it definitely will not disappoint and then last but not least I saw this one I want to say like three weeks ago and a couple of you told me you really liked it so I'm like you know what let's pick it up so this is pumpkin peanut brittle I'm not sure if they had this last year they might have or it might be new it smells different um I'm like 50 50 as to if it's going to throw to my liking or not Sometimes I can smell a candle and it might smell phenomenal, but I just know it's not going to like throw to my liking. So we will see. Um, and if not, and I don't know if any of you guys know this because I didn't know this for years, but I thought after I had lit a candle once and even if I didn't like it, I thought I couldn't return it. If you have a receipt and you don't like the candle, you can return it. Obviously, you're not gonna return the candle and burn it to there and then return it with a receipt, no. But um, Autumn, for example, I'm disappointed again, definitely gonna return that. And then um, Sweater Weather I haven't used yet, obviously that's fine, but if you have a receipt and you um, burn a candle and you don't really like it, um, you can return it. And I de definitely did not know that for the longest time, so I figured I would relay the message to you. Um, so yeah, Pumpkin Peanut Brittle. Uh, did I read the notes to you? No, I did not. So Crunchy Caramel Brittle, Salty Peanuts, Toasted Pumpkin Seeds. So yeah, so we will see, but I mean, it does smell really nice, and many of you said that you did like this one. And then lastly, one of you told me, one, maybe a couple of you told me, I don't know how true this is, that Bath & Body Works was going to be coming out with pumpkin, pecan, waffle, body care. That's life changing, oh my goodness, if that's true, um, I'm all for it. So I don't know when they're going to do that. Again, I don't know how true that is, but that would just like, 
I don't know, that would just be everything to me. <laughs> and hopefully it would smell just as good as the candle because again, we've seen the variations and difference between um, candles and body lotions or hand soaps, whatever. Um, also, I'm waiting for those coupons to come in. Bath and Body Works keep sending those coupons, even if you wanna send them through our emails because I've done that before and use them in store. I need some coupons because I have more items to buy and I would like to save some money. But anyways, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried out any of these items? Did you hit up any of these sales? By the time this video goes up, the sales were like, uh, you know, a few weeks back. What are your favorite scents for fall? I'd be curious to find out. But anyways, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.